cool cats and kittens, my name is Heidi and I am so glad that you are back with us again this week for another round of Active Kids at Home. I have missed you guys and I'm so glad you're back. If this is your first time here, please click the link in the description below and fill it out so we can get to know who's here. And then maybe head over to our Instagram page or our Facebook page. Give us a little comment and say hi because we would love to get to know you. Friends, we have been talking about Jesus all month, haven't we? We started with Palm Sunday and how everyone was so excited that he was coming into town. And then we talked about Easter and how it started as a kind of sad story, but ended really happy. Remember, Jesus died on the cross and then three days later, he was alive again because he loves us so much. And then last week, we talked about one of the first things he did when he came back to life is that he looked for his friends, he found them and he ate breakfast with them, right? Jesus is alive forever. Just like our Bible verse says, who remembers it? Say it with me. I'm alive forever and ever. Revelation 1:18. Who's alive? If you said Jesus, you are right. Jesus is alive and he loves us. He wants to be our forever friend. We also talked about how much we miss our friends, right? We miss our friends and that is okay. But did any of you do what I challenged you to do and write a note or do a video chat or send a video of yourself telling your friends how much you love them, how much you miss them and you can't wait to see them again? I did. It was really fun to see my friends and chat with them. I loved it. Well, this week, friends, we are talking about Jesus again because we love Jesus so much. This week, we get to learn about what he tells us to do. But you know what? I love Jesus and I hope you do too. So let's get ready to worship God, to sing to him, to learn a little bit more. Let's have fun. Are you ready? Here we go.
Oh, what a beautiful day. I got a wonderful fi Oh, hey, I'm Lucy. And these flowers we planted are making me so happy. They light up the whole clubhouse. Where do you think would be the best place to put them? Oh, I know. <laughs> I love these flowers. They make my fuzzy wuzzy heart so happy. Hmm, where do you think I should put Devin's flower pot? Aha! Ta-da! This is the perfect place for a chocolate chip cookie flower pot. Poppy's flower pot is so super colorful and fun. Maybe I should leave it right here, in the middle of the clubhouse. How's that? Wait a minute, there's only three. Where's Kai's flower pot? Uh, oh, I remember. Kai gave his flower pot to his grandma. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? You've made quite the flower garden. It's true. Hi, Ollie. They're just so beautiful. It makes my heart happy to look at them. It's good to find something we love. Who? Who? And even better to share it with others, too. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. All month long, we've been celebrating Easter and how Jesus is alive. That reminds me of a story. Do you want to help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. And done. Okay, now today's true story from the Bible happens on a mountain. Jesus told his friends, the disciples, to meet him on the mountain. Well, here are the disciples, but where is Jesus? Do you see him? When you see him, yell, Jesus! Is he over here? What about over there? Do you see him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Yay, Jesus. <laughs> so Jesus went to his friends, the disciples, and he told them he had an important job for them to do. It's an important job that he wants us to do too. Do you want to know what it is? Say, I want to know, I want to know. Ready? I want to know, I want to know. <laughs> Good. Jesus said our important job is to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Whoa, do you think we can do it? Let's say that together. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. One more time. Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's practice. Oh look, it's grandpa. Let's tell him Jesus is alive and we can follow him. All together now. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Great. It's our neighbor checking her mail. Let's tell her too. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. Let's do one more. Hey, look, it's our friends playing in the park. Let's tell them. Ready? Jesus is alive and we can follow him. <laughs> We did it! Great job, everyone! That's what Jesus wants us to do, to tell everyone, everywhere, that he's alive and we can follow him. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is alive? Jesus is alive. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! So there's your story. 
and it's all true. We can follow Jesus, and we can tell others too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus told his friends to tell everyone, everywhere, that Jesus is alive and that we can follow him too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I think these flowers are so beautiful. I can't just keep them in the clubhouse. I want to share, like Kai. And when I give these flowers to my neighbors, I can tell them that Jesus is alive. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Forever and ever, Revelation 1.18. I am alive forever and ever, Revelation 1.18. Friends, that was so fun learning a Bible story together with you. I love Bible stories because they're always true. If it is in the Bible, it is true always and forever. When I ask you, is it true? Can you say that with me always and forever? Let's try it. Our Bible story is true always and forever. That's right. Good job, friends. That was a fun Bible story to hear from Lewis. I always love it when Lewis tells a story because he's so fun with his hammer and we get to help participate and it's a good time, right? Well, I love Jesus. I hope you love Jesus too. And I think you do now that we're learning all about him and all the cool things that he has done because he loves us. I love Jesus. And you know what he told us this week? That he wants us to follow him and he wants us to tell others about him. Tell others how much we love Jesus. So let's do that, right? We started doing it with writing letters to friends and video chats and texts and emails and all that good stuff. But this week, what if we did something else? What if we made hearts and hung them in our windows for others to see how much we love Jesus? So I had my girls already do it so I could show you. We drew hearts, we cut out hearts. You can make a heart of any size and tape it in your window. Look it, I pulled that one right out of my window. It was taped on the window. Put these in your window so when people are on their walks because our weather is so beautiful now we like to take walks with our families when people are on their walks they can see the hearts in the windows and spot them and point them out maybe even take a picture it's so fun what a way to show love and to show Jesus' love parents could you take a picture of your house with the hearts in the windows and post it on our instagram or our facebook page so we can all see the hearts all over the cities that we live that would be fun Friends, I've had such a good time learning with you today and hanging out, and I wanna invite you Sunday morning with your parents, I wanna invite you to watch Big Church. 9 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. You can find it on YouTube under Active Churches or on our Facebook page, Active Churches as well. So I would love to watch that with you. But friends, before you leave, I wanna pray with you. So can we pray together? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap. Dear God, thank you so much for letting us learn so much about you, God. Thank you for loving us so much that you died on the cross for us, God. We love you and we love to learn about you together. God, I ask that you would give my friends the boldness and the courage to share their love for you with others. God, I ask that you would encourage us to put hearts in the windows, and tell our neighbors and our postman and everyone how much we love you, Jesus, because we do. It's in your son's beautiful name that we pray, amen. Friends, I'll see you again next week, bye.